everyone and welcome back to my channel. I recreated the Jennifer Lopez New Year's Eve intro look where she did like where she's on a train and I'm obsessed with her hair and makeup and I really want to focus mostly on the makeup in this video. So if you want to know how I got this Jennifer Lopez inspired makeup look then please keep watching. So as you can tell I did my eyebrows already but don't worry I have a tutorial coming up soon. I wanted to dedicate a video on it because I personally have been loving the way it looks. I know I know this, it looks really weird right now. You guys know the movie Friday and Smokey's like, I know this man, I know this. That's the way I feel right now and I want to tell you guys, yeah, it looks weird because I don't have any makeup on and of course, you know, there's makeup on my eyebrows. Again, I want to dedicate a video on that. So make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because it's coming soon and I know you guys will love it. Like I said, I did that, but now I want to focus on the chest and I'm going to be using her makeup artist, Scott Barnes Body Blank. I have the original, there's platinum, there's original. I like the original because it's more like bronzy and tan. And the platinum is a little bit more lighter. And what he likes to do is actually mix them both. But I have this one and in this picture, as you guys can see right here, like I showed you guys before, she's bronzy. So of course I wanna start right here and then match my makeup with that. So let's get started. For foundation the estee lauder double wear and 5w1 bronze and then for the other part like for more the lighter areas besides concealer i'm going to be adding the nars this is in the shade Vena 2 which is m 3.5 so just so you guys know i'm going to use the darker one just around my face almost like contouring and then i'm going to use the lighter ones in the other areas so see that is such a good match because you want it to always match your neck. I'm not too sure if I mentioned this or not, but the way I do my new brow routine, I feel like it's better to do it before makeup only because the products I use might mess up the makeup unless you're really careful. So just a little tip. I'll explain more again when I do that eyebrow tutorial. Don't I look so pretty? Same brush I'm going to be using. This is actually the Huda Beauty brush. I don't know if I mentioned that, but if I don't mention something, I will link it down below. I'm just gonna get about one pump. You don't need a lot. Because I'm in the JLo spirit, so moving on to concealer, her under eyes is really bright as it always pretty much is. So I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape in light medium. I'm going to put this in a triangle in the center, like just in the center of my nose because in the picture she has a real chiseled nose. So I find a really nice trick, it's very simple. But to make your under eyes for one last longer and to make it extra bright, besides of course baking and all of that good stuff, is to let the under eyes sit a little bit, let the concealer dry up, but I'm going to blend everything else out just to kind of let this time under my eyes stay a little bit more. So for baking, because as soon as I finish concealer, I have to bake right away. And don't forget to go over your beauty blender or brush just in case you have any fine lines. Because once you bake, that's it. You're stuck. And I think most of us have been there and you're like, oh, shoot, you know, I messed up. And then you're stuck with it. So I'm using the Fenty Beauty Banana Powder. And I really love this because it gives that extra brightening look. However, use any uh, loose powder that you guys have. 
as long as it is a little bit more brightening it'll be better or you can add just a little pressed powder afterwards just to kind of give you that brightening look so i have some powder here and i'll show you guys a trick that i like to do just to kind of warm up the powder so it doesn't really stick to all the lines first i'm going to go over it again just in case like i said you take a puff get a good amount of product Put it in my hand and warm it up. And I like to bring it down. I bring it down the side of my nose. And I will bring it like that because again, she has almost like that cat eye look. I learned this trick from a celebrity makeup artist. I want to say it was Beyonce's. I can't remember what video I was watching, but I always love watching videos because, you know, there's always something to learn, you know, and I love learning from others. So if you have any makeup tips of your own, feel free to comment down below, share your tips or tricks. Let's all come together and help each other out. So for the rest of my face, instead of using that powder, that powder might change the shade of my skin. Maybe it might make it look a little bit more ashier because it's a color. So I like to use for the rest of my face a translucent powder to kind of set. I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier, this cute little mini uh, translucent powder. Taking just a little amount on this big fluffy brush from Estee Lauder and just going around the perimeter of my face, just anywhere the baking wasn't there. So I came up a little bit closer to do the eye makeup. It was really simple, but really beautiful. I know that there was lots of lashes, so we'll definitely add that. But she actually said when she was doing her JLo Beauty kind of Zoom meeting with everyone for New Year's Eve for like her fans, she said that she did a more like brown or bronzy kind of eye champagne in the center and more like a burgundy color on the bottom. So I, that's my inspiration. That's what I'm going to do. But to make it really easy, I don't want to use like tons of products because I know if you guys want to recreate this, it'll be kind of annoying to do that. Plus, I'm a big believer in using products that you can multi-use. And first of all, let's talk about the skin. It almost looks airbrushed and really that's how she always looks. So I feel like this makeup look is so pretty. Obviously not just for super glam, but you don't have to do, let's say, this eye look, but you want like nice really nice flawless airbrush skin this is a nice routine as well i'm going to be using her other makeup artist so mary phillips did her makeup for this look but scott barnes has his makeup line for those of you who don't know his stuff is amazing and i really do swear by it and i'm not sponsored i've said this before i just really genuinely love his products and this is his contour palette and i'm going to be using this a lot in this video but use any contour palette or any of similar shades that you guys can find for your skin tone or skin type whatever you guys like i'm going to be using this shade right here this is called chiseled this huda beauty double ended brush and this is the contour and blend i've already set my eyelids and i had already put concealer with the beauty blender as you guys saw It's a super easy eye, it's nothing too crazy. You wanna leave space for the brow bone cause you're gonna highlight a little bit. Nothing too crazy, but just a nice highlight. Easy so far, right? So I'm going to take this side of the brush cause it's a little bit more pointier and I'm gonna go and use frame right over here. It's a little bit more browner, just to focus on the crease. See how it just sharpened the look? We're coming along, guys, we're coming along. Remember how I said JLo mentioned how she put some burgundy or her makeup artist puts a burgundy uh, shadow on the bottom? I'm going to be using Let's Roll 
from MAC and it's a really pretty color and when you first see it I don't know like see it almost looks gold and then it looks pink or burgundy it's a really nice shade and I feel like on everyone it looks different which is so beautiful it's so unique I'm just taking a Chanel pencil brush but use any brush that you like I find the pointier the better only because it's going to really get under your eye a lot easier and it's not gonna look so heavy under the eye See, just doing that it just looks more sultry so she did also mention in that zoom call that she did have a champagne color in the center so i grabbed the nars this is the shade himalaya it's a really really beautiful and it is a really nice champagne shade but use again any champagne shade that you guys have or you know kind of mix and match and make it your own whenever i do a video if you guys really like this stuff of course i will link everything down below or something similar at least i try to always use products that you guys can obviously get but use what you have too i mean i don't want you guys to have to go out and buy anything but i just wanted to let you guys know about that it's just like using my ring finger and always use your ring finger if you're doing anything around the eye it's the one with the least amount of pressure because you always want to be careful JLo had a little bit of black liner just right over here almost on her outer corners I'm using the Marc Jacobs black eyeliner it's just the pencil one I believe they call it like the gel liner so as I'm waiting for the lashes to dry I'm using the Lily Lashes Goddess by the way I feel like they are the closest to her lashes in this picture that I'm going by for inspiration I'm going to wipe away the baking because I don't need it anymore and I wanted it to sit a little bit longer anyways because I wanted the extra brightening effect before I apply my lashes I'm just going to be using mascara first and I'm using my favorite the Essence Lash Princess Mascara now that the lashes are on I know they make such a big difference I'm just gonna do the bottom mascara and then we're gonna get to one of my favorite parts contour highlight blush all the good stuff contour part using the scott barnes number 65 face brush i love this brush and i'm going to be using the same contour uh, palette that i used for my eyes and now i'm going to be using shade and chiseled i like to mix both i only put on one side and the other side is cleaner so then it wipes the rest out so i'll just show you how i use it Her contour kind of drags down up to here, but use your contour any way that suits you and your face shape. What a difference already, eh? Now I'm taking the shade shade right over here. Just going down. carving out the jaw remember not to do this because Scott Barnes actually I learned this from him I know it's very common for us to do like this to see where we're putting the line he's like don't do that it actually ruins where you're sculpting he's like just go just look natural that way the line isn't visible and you're just literally carving out don't worry, I'll fix that. It's super pigmented. His stuff's really good. Going to use the same palette, but this shade right here. There's something about this shade that works on my skin tone and that just makes my nose look so good. I don't know what it is. It's just really good. When you find your perfect shade, especially for nose contour, it's such a life-changing thing in my opinion because it just elevates your makeup game on a different level and just almost like just changes your nose. So just watch and see. I'm going to blend it out. I know it looks really harsh, but I just want to get it down first. And 
and we're all done. No, I'm just joking. I know it looks so funny. Just taking my beauty blender that still has some of my concealer on there, the residue, I'm just slightly gonna go and blend it out. I don't want it too much, but I don't obviously don't want it this harsh, but she has a pretty prominent contour on her nose. So I, I wanna mimic that. And in videos and pictures, it always looks different, but you guys get what I'm saying, but look how much better that looks just from blending it out. I can't wait to do blush because her blush is like pink and I love it. Now, just for a little bit more bronzer, I'm taking just the shade right here. It's called Chiseled. With this big Chanel brush, any big brush that you have, I'm just starting off on the cheeks. I'm gonna add blush, but I just wanna be more bronzy. And if anything looks harsh, I'm gonna show you guys a trick that I always do, or I usually like to always do in my videos, just to kinda make it look more airbrush and not as harsh. Well, I'm taking the blush kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills in this really pink shade right over here. Seriously, this shade is everything. But any pink shade, there's lots of beautiful shades out there. This, I like it because it has a little bit of sparkle, as you guys can see, and it's one of my favorite blushes. They were looking wild and a little bit too much right now, but just wait. Remember how I said that I'm going to make my face look airbrushed and not have these harsh lines? I'm going to make it all look like one, and I promise you it's going to look great. I'm going to be using the Givenchy powder. Use any kind of powder that you have that has some color, but not too much. Watch this. Difference, right? Look, big difference. I know some people are probably like, well, why don't you just use less? Blush goes quickly. And a lot of you that love makeup and that play with blush a lot, you guys know that. So that's why I find doing this really helps. Plus, it's Jennifer Lopez. Her skin looks airbrushed. This was for New Year's Eve. So a lot of people might be like, wow, this is a lot of makeup. It is. And I, I mean, I like it. I love a full glam moment. I'm also comfortable without wearing makeup. So it's not like, oh, the more makeup, the better. Not necessarily, but... When you're on camera, when you're, you know, doing what she did, which was performing, you need this much makeup and it's stage makeup pretty much, right? I'm going over that nose again, but not too much. But look how much better that looks. To bring back life to my face, I'm using the Morphe setting spray, continuous setting spray. I'm actually almost done. I hope I have enough left. I'm using the butt end of the beauty blender and now I'm taking it and just bouncing it. It's gonna take any excess powder or product away. And we're almost done guys, highlighter and lips. So for the specific areas of my face, I wanna use this brush right here or anything pointy. This is the Smashbox brush. It's one of my favorite highlighter brushes. It's actually for eyeshadow, but the thing is, what's, what's nice about brushes or makeup, you can use it for totally different things. You don't have to buy just a specific brush for something specific. I love to multi-use things. So for highlighter, I'm using the Scott Barnes Highlighter uh, Palette. And I want to use, I want to see, I think I'm going to mix these two. Let's just see how these two look. I'm just going to do the nose first. Yes, I'm liking this color combo. I always go right here. I just wanna add a little bit of just twilight sand just under my brow. Just a little bit. Inner corner, I'm gonna use the pinkaboo now again with the twilight sand, mixing those two. So it doesn't really look like she has crazy amount of highlight on her cheeks, but I know that she does. It's kind of hard to tell with the picture, but I'm just gonna be using the same two, but not a lot. I just want a little bit. That's it. 
I don't want to overdo it. So for lip liner, she has a beautiful pink shade and to me the closest is MAC Soar. So I'm just going to outline my lips. I just want to see how Bite Meringue looks. I think we're done. I love how this turned out. I love this hair look. I've done something very similar before. If you guys want a tutorial of this, just comment down below and let me know. I just didn't want this video to be crazy long and I want to focus on the makeup especially, but I know Chris Appleton does really good videos, which is her hairstylist. But if again, if you want me to specifically do the video, I will. And I have other curling uh, hair tutorials, kind of similar to this, not exactly, but if you guys want to see those, I will link it right over here. If you guys have not already subscribed, please do so. I have some amazing videos coming up. And again, I'm going to do the brow tutorial and truthfully, you guys don't want to miss it. So hit that notification bell to get notified when that video is out and when other videos come out. And if you like this video, feel free to share it. I really hope that you guys learned something new or a new technique and comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I love you all so much.